Like these guys go slow and they shoot you. They all shoot whenever they want and there's no slotting, right? Oh which, yeah, sure. Which in yeah. console games is like the norm. Like you're in an action game <laughs> and everything slots around you and like idiots, they wait for someone to attack before they attack, which is just disgusting. I'm like, they're gonna make 30 years, yes. <laughs> so that's awesome, you know. There's, you know, out of the company, nine different companies I've founded, only three are still around. Uh, have you played the, the 2016 version of Doom? I haven't played, well, first of all, I don't play shooters on console. Right. And I just recently got a uh, Windows computer, so. Yeah, because you're a Mac head. Yeah, still. total Mac, yeah. <laughs> so I'll get it on there and then I'll actually play it. Yeah, and I heard it's amazing, you know, the campaign mode is. I played the sing the multiplayer and, and wasn't happy with loadouts and Halo basically. <laughs> so um, so that wasn't something that I'll get into, but definitely the single player. Well, it's not a ludicrous thing that you should be laughed at for entertaining the notion of even working on. It's something that is challenging, requires a lot of hard work, requires a lot of good engineering effort and bright ideas to get through, but it's not impossible. It just requires hard work and dedication, just like all the other things that we've accomplished over the years. So I guess uh, just kind of generally, I mean, some of the, the most impressive things, or, you know, what we really saw today, you know, were, you know, the new graphics uh, developments. So, I mean, I guess the first question is um, just, you know, what are some of the most impressive, uh, you know, graphical effects, um, you know, you think that, you know, are going into the new mention? Well, the, uh, you know, the things that we get out of it, and this is something that I, I say a lot of times is that I really don't believe in special effects where you point at something and say, look at this special effect going on here. Because over the, the last several years, there's been a bunch of things that would come out in graphics cards where you could do a neat special effect and you could tell that they put hardware in here just so you could do this, like bumpy shiny water, bumpy shiny spheres and things that are, are gimmicks really. There's not a whole lot to that. So what I've always pushed on is trying to bring a fundamentally better level to everything in the world where instead of saying well we'll put a bump map on some special thing everything has a bump map or you know everything has a specular map and a diffuse map and all that so it's not so much that you see one thing that looks at that stands out so much but the entire world is better in every respect doom has been the grandfather of first person shooters everywhere and most kids today have never heard of the classic doom franchise only the 2016 version. They haven't heard of games like Strife, Hexen, Heretic, as well as a few others. And it all started with Wolfenstein 3D back in 1992. And John Carmack wanted to create something truly diabolical and addicting as well. So, in 1993, he created something with his team at ID Software, now a subsidiary of Xenomax Bethesda Studios, the same people who make Skyrim and Fallout. They created a game called Doom, a game about a marine who fends off demons from hell who invaded Mars and the moons of Mars as well. His team had expanded on that story in their creation of Doom 2 which tells the marine story of how the earth was ravaged by the evil creatures as well. And after 1994, the game became a cult icon and it spawned many clones as well, such as Heretic, Hexen, Strife, Duke Nukem, Quake, Blood, Shadow Warrior, and many more. Today, 
Those games are a modder's heaven. Some people call us classic Doom engineers, or some call us WAD engineers, others just like to call us modders. But with resources like Slade, Doom Builder, Deep Sea, XWE, and many others as well, you could create your own Doom levels from scratch utilizing the classic Doom engine. PK3 files can be found on the internet which enhance the style and texture of the classic Doom engine. Some modders like myself have taken upon ourselves to turn games like Doom and Heretic and slap HD textures, high definition textures, and models onto our experience to modernize it. PK3s like Brutal Doom, Project Brutality, Brutal Heretic, Brutal Hexen and Brutal Wolfenstein add some an insane amount of decals to this game to enhance the gore to its true potential. Wad authors and modders like myself utilize the creation of batch files or BATs for short to run all the PK3 files in one game in order to create a truly unique experience. All these PK3 files running in the batch file communicate with one another to create a truly unique experience. My new project called Diablo 3D aims to bring the classic gameplay style to Doom and Heretic and create an RPG atmosphere like Diablo using a mod called Wrath of Kronos made by a ZDoom user called Thetis and combine it with a mod called Brutal Heretic, made by Sedolium, as well as my own wad called Diablo. This wad creates a brand new map layout which pays respects to the first Diablo game and eventually it will pay respect to the second one as well when I expand on it. You face off in the labyrinth against familiar monsters from Classic Doom and Classic Heretic, but also face mini bosses custom made like the Skeleton King, the Butcher, and the Crawl from the original Diablo games Hellfire expansion. The development is a massive undertaking and that could be finished within a year, optimistically, and as you know, Heretic is owned by Raven Software, which is a subsidiary of Activation Blizzard, who also makes the Diablo series as well. The creation of this mod, which uses a program called Slade 3, allows you to merge WAD files and also merge PK3 files and edit them as well with the idea of changing map titles and intermission text using the mapinfo.txt file, also called mapinfo.txt. Also, you could add textures to your own wads from the internet using your favorite paint program and pasting them into Slate 3. Also, GZ Doom Builder and Deep Sea allow the user to create custom map layouts and edit textures within the maps for a truly unique gameplay experience. Well, that's all for now, and if you have any questions or comments on this mod, or the Doom franchise, please share in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.